One of the works in Tate Modern's new Giacometti exhibition has a special place in today's art world. It's a version of the most expensive sculpture ever sold. L'Homme au Doigt, the pointing man, was sold for $141.3 million in 2015. Made by Giacometti in 1947, it's one of six casts. One of those is in Tate's collection. The best-selling cast is one that the artist finished by hand painting over the bronze. Apart from that, it's the same as the five others. So how, you might ask, can it be worth a world-beating sum? Surely, in order to be really valuable, a work has to be unique. Paradoxically, though, that's often not true in today's art world. Some of the biggest selling works have close equivalents. For instance, Cezanne's card players, reputed to have been sold privately to the royal family of Qatar for $250 million, is one of four versions. Gauguin's Na Fea Fa Epuipo, or When Will You Marry, which went for 300 million in 2015, shows the Tahitian girls completely typical of his style. People who are spending astronomical sums on art want recognizability, a brand, if you like, and a proven equivalent for their gigantic purchase. Uniqueness, it seems, is not so highly prized. <laughs>